And here's the bluebird that nobody takes, apparently. Haha. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? I'll freeze that. I think that's good. We are buffing an otter, which I do not like. We will be the inedible ponies. Chick is definitely the hardest to do. I don't think I agree. I think because they, they, I don't know, unnerfed it. I don't know how to describe it. You can just get like a level two rooster and then pill that and then you'll have what you want. So that's actually pretty easy. I think fly is harder than chick at the moment. Like the uh, zombie fly, I mean. And then put those there. I think the seahorse is pretty nice. Out of all of these, I think you keep a seahorse. It's not like... It's not quite a crocodile or something, but it is targeted... Targeted stuff that ruins certain teams. So I'm, I'm for it. Okay, bad. I still think it is good. I'm actually going to remove this to try and get extra buffs on things I actually like. Did we lose? We didn't. I'm going to leave the snail. I really do need to roll. <laughs> and we can have another level up. I'm going to do this first. I'm going to do that. <laughs> Fine, I'll freeze both. No swan. No more of that, definitely. Yeah, just send it like this. You found B to be the hardest secret. That was actually the first... That was like my first secret achievement in quotes, but I did it before there were achievements for it. So then I had to do it again. All right, toucan, definitely taking. Oh, gold hoop, gold poop redeem. Hold on. Gold poop. There we go. Excellent choice. And <laughs> now lava cave. Oh, I should like wait a second in case there's double redeems like that. You disgusting person. Gold poop is fashionable. It's a flex. Uh, I'm getting rid of this, and I'm going to do this. Yeah, I may even, like, buy the honey, because at least we get, like, a trigger out of that. Okay, there we go. We get some value here. Not a lot of value, but we have some value, and I don't like how big this otter is. It does not deserve the continued buffs from the bluebird. Wow, and we weakened a 4-4 when <laughs> our lowest attack thing has, like, 5. Gold poop is as bad as the Ben 10 episode with the golden poop. Don't think I've seen it. Very sorry to say. Uh, I don't really care about any of this either. I don't know. I'm going to leave it, I think. Okay, I love that, because I can maybe get a toucan or a bat level up. Maybe. <laughs> maybe at some point. Oh, I'm going to freeze a pill too. I Oh, God. So many good things. I think... I'm going to have to sell something so I can double buy a clownfish and get a, like, super big bat. I don't know whether I sell the otter or the bluebird, though. This is, like, continued buffs. This is only buffs if I buy more. So maybe that is better to keep, and I just sell the otter as it is. Let's run it like that for now, though. Okay, good hit. Excellent, even. When your son asks for a gold poop hat, he gets a gold poop hat, you know. Fair enough. I respect it. <laughs> Said you're new, but haven't really played in a long time. Did Fly's ability get changed? Uh, I don't know when you last played. It has been changed. It's still, like, the same ability, but I think they changed, like, the number of triggers, and now they're, like, not 5.5s, five they're 2.2s, two not 2.2s, two 4.4s. Four and I think there was something before there were 5.5s five as well. I can't remember. Fly has gone through many changes, and I can't actually remember <laughs> what they all were. So, yeah, I'm just going to do this now. I'm fine getting a level up this turn. Penguin, pretty good, even. All right, let's keep all of this. And I'm keeping that, too. I can maybe get rid of the penguin if you find a blobfish, and I don't really care about equipment. Getting, um, like, garlic on this and throwing it in front of the bat would be pretty nice, but doesn't do anything yet. And I'm going to leave it like this. That's the back thing of honey. Starfish used to have a good face. I still miss it so badly. I want anime starfish back. Oh. Yay, hello. Hello, hello. Uh, hmm. I want both of these, but it doesn't actually improve our team this turn. I don't know. I can just like buy the pair too. Getting extra stats does mean something. Nothing here. Okay, I'm still keeping that frozen. We uh, No, we do need garlic. We need garlic pretty badly. <laughs> it's just sad. Okay. The lad, we got those traits. How can we go against such like rough teams? Then we go against one that we stomp with our front line. How does this happen? And then the second I unfreeze pill, we find this. 
What is this? Skippy McTwist? Thank you for the 127 bits. Oh, one up from last time. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm gonna leave the bluebird. I think I sell penguin, buy owl, and I hopefully sell that for something better soon. A bat, sure. Unless I combine bat and just rebuy my penguin. I may do that. Alright, there we go. <laughs> we're like the same team, but we're slightly stronger. You could replace Bluebird with Giraffe. Yeah, but they actually have like the same stat line. Like obviously they give different stats, but they both give two stats per thing, and we already have a level two Bluebird. I oh no, because this is one, yeah. Never mind. But also this is really big. Uh Sorry, I'm looking at double turkey, and I'm thinking we could actually pivot off this, because I don't need the penguin, the clownfish, or the bluebird very long term. And bat and toucan can both synergize into summon builds. I think I'm going to go for that. So let's just do this for now. I'd like to get mushroom, maybe, but that, that helps. Okay, and let's get this too. I need... I need this to be tanky. <laughs> I need it to be very tanky. Okay, another turkey. Excellent. Uh, I'll freeze one of those just in case. I'm probably freezing the crow too. I will actually leave the owl. It is obviously something, but I don't think it's really worth it. Have I tried peanut toucan? No, but I also don't know how to force it because it's not <laughs> easy to force. Yeah, this is going to be easy. Good luck. All right. Uh, oh god, there are so many things. I think I'm just going to buy this. No, we actually get more stats if I sell the clownfish, and then <laughs> I mean I do this first. Oh god, I'm trying to think. Because like I get more stats on the turkey if I sell this and then buy the turkey and let both turkeys buff it. But I can also like try and level that and then maybe combine those and then buy sell the crow and level something else up and get extra value from the clownfish. But I think that's going. That's going like 2-5 head. I don't think it's going to work. I think I'm just going to do this for now because it does help. Stegosaurus is pretty good. And then I'm going to sell this. I have a big old turkey. And then combine into a big turkey. And then what? Do I just want to level up? <laughs> level up the bat? It might be better than running like the stego this turn. I'm not sure. Probably not. I think we run the stego. We just kind of have the big turkey. I don't know how long we're keeping these, because we maybe could pivot off it. And uh, yeah, let it run like that. This is going to be big. Look at that. We got a 35, 34 already. Roughly, anyway. Oh, yeah. Good luck beating this. Big success. You beat the game three days ago, except for Sloth. Including all the other secret achievements. Yo, congratulations. I am not far behind. And I'm going for Toucan. I am, but I'm not like hard, hard pushing into it yet. I need to keep the bat. I'm going to do that first and then I'm going to combine here. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just let's, like, do that then. Snake, don't really care. I'm just going to buy that. I'm going to freeze this and unfreeze the snail. And I'm glad I did. I'll freeze this snail though. It's a different snail. It's, it's very, very different. And leave the crow at the back. We don't actually need the summons, but if they have like a level 2 crocodile or something, then these both die, whereas this one has high stats. So I'd rather I'd rather this one take the hits than this. I'm not even trying to get the achievements, you're too bad. I just like going for achievements. It's fun, and I'm almost there now, which, you know, ups the the ante? I don't know. Sadly, I can't even use the yeah, if I sell the crow, then it replaces my pill. That's fine. This is level this. We're going to need it. I may get rid of the turkey. Like, I may, I may buy something useful and then get rid of the turkey. Uh, You know what? I'm freezing. We need to find something worth taking first. Tap is interesting. Octopus is way better than the bat. That is going to be super nice for us because we have bats. When I say better than the bat, I mean it like combos very well with uh, both Stegosaurus and bats, but... Yeah, this thing having massive stats will definitely do a lot for us. And, uh, yeah, we have no summons, so I can get rid of that at some point. I think, I think I try and give it protective equipment and not a mushroom. Actually, it's getting protective equipment from this. That's not, that's not bad. <laughs> All right. All right, this is a great team. Next turn, we sell the turkey, buy, sell, crow, get this to level two. 
And then I just need to find, like, I don't know, another Stego. What is this? I really wish I'd hit that with weakness, but I don't think it makes a difference. Yeah. Is that the weak knee? No, this is a custom pack. All right, goodbye, Turkey. You will be missed. <laughs> JK, already forgotten. All right, Snake, no. No Snake. Almost tempted to Warus, but I actually really do need the protective equipment on the Octopus, and it all gets re like replaced anyway, so... Yeah, I think we can leave that. I don't think I care about any of this. What would I be looking for? Like, I like having a buy-sell slot, because there's a lot of things I can buy and sell for pretty good value, but... Yeah, sure. I'll take this. <laughs> I'm just gonna buy-sell hours. It's fairly cheap stats. And I'll take that at the moment. I think I need steak on the Stego. And then I might be... Oh yeah, I need to level the Toucan. I, like, completely forgot. Lol. Okay. Strong turn. Strong turn 13 team. Yeah. Alright, well, I'll freeze a Blobfish, but... <laughs> I don't know if we're going to get to level this thing. Maybe I'm going to throw a turn, see if I can make that work. Very close. Okay, yeah. Alright, time to throw. Uh... Seems good to me. <laughs> I could have left it how it was and prayed for a draw, but the odds are way too low. And I honestly, I think we would have lost to this anyway. I don't know. It's That's too late 40-40s. Okay, so we have this now. That is nice. I do need to find one other thing keeping on the team, and I don't know what that's going to be. Let me move that further back, too. It's like, I don't think... I'm wondering if it's worth, like, taking a turtle. I actually... No. They're all getting the buffs anyway. I really don't care about any of this. Let's just roll it. Don't care about any of the level ups still. Maybe a deer. It's not terrible. <laughs> Warus is interesting, but I think I'm just going to throw a deer at the front. It could help out with, like, popping extra shields if the bat misses something, or just extra damage either way. And to Anthrum! Hello, and thank you for the prime. Thank you. Front Warus? No, I, <laughs> I don't like Warus in this build. I want this thing to have protective equipment. Like, these things are all pretty big, and although Warus could be interesting, I don't know if it's actually better. Like, we don't win against the super tanky teams, so I don't think it's worth trying to force it. Uh, yeah, that's the order. Sending it. Okay, so he did pop a shield, which is something. This thing is, like, super dead, though, and we can't get past anything else. Oh! Uh... <laughs> yeah. Alright, nine wins. How long do we have? 20 minutes. Oh, uh, it's just not happening. I don't know what to do. This is what I hate. I just, like, can't get them. It always dies at, like, eight and nine wins. If you had peanuts, you would have won. Look, I, it's, it's all rock, paper, scissors. You can't just be like, oh yeah, you would have won in this specific situation if you had cut off your hands. Like, I, I think I made the right choice there. We happened to go against something that it didn't help me on, but like, yeah. Definitely leaving it dark. We don't need two of those. Skunks today, man. It's weird. I like, never see skunks, but whenever you do, they do like destroy you. Don't cut off your hands. I'm not planning to. That's why I'm not doing what chat says. You know what? I'm pretty tempted to like sell everything here. And like buy like swan, stalk, stalk, snail. Yeah, I'm gonna have to sell the other ants, but it's, it's worth it. Alright, big stalks. The uh, sure, another swan. I'll definitely be freezing. It is frozen now. Excellent. Alright, send it like this. In which situations do you think you'd win by cutting off your hands? I don't know. My point is, is look, this game is rock, paper, scissors. Like, some builds just beat other builds. And I didn't think we'd actually win against a... Uh... Like, I still don't know if we would have won against that if we just had whatever it is. Uh, peanuts. Like, we could have drawn, maybe? I don't think it would have been a win. Hold on. We're yeah, definitely taking all of this. Let's roll for another... I mean, honestly, I'll try and get this to level 3. Like, we want storks and swans. We also do need... Uh... <laughs> whatever whatever achievements we're looking for. But obviously we can't see any of those yet. What do you think about the Stego change on the test server? I think it's pretty busted with Tiger right now. I haven't tried it. It's obviously very different, but... Yeah, the fact that you can now like buff it with Tiger is... 
is interesting. I, I could definitely see there being like a meta of just having like Tiger, Stego, Tiger, Stego. You know, nothing with equipment. Or maybe just like a couple of things targeted with no equipment. Not really sure there. Dragonfly. Interesting. I'm actually going to sell the Marmoset so I can sort of guarantee value on that. Uh, you know what? I'd rather it hit this one. I'm going to combine those. Okay, it did not. And then we can roll. There is also this. <laughs> there are a lot of things here. Okay, I'm going to leave the clownfish. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I'm going to leave that. I, I really do want to find more dromedaries. They changed the stego. On the test server they did, yeah. They changed it so it's like start of battle, but it can only target... It's, it's like start of battle... It targets a random pet without any equipment. I think that's it. I'm not sure. I can't remember this specific wordage, but yeah. It's not terrible, but it's kind of weird. We're taking that. We're still not taking more giraffes. I still don't care about Meat Bone either. Like, I'm probably selling that like next turn, so... I'll, I'll just wait there. You know what? Let's make that bigger. I'm freezing all of this, though. Okay. Send it like this. Stego reindeer. That definitely is some synergy. It's kind of interesting. Like, I like that they're pushing for different, like, archetypes. Because now there's, like... There's going to be so many different types of builds going on. Because there's, like, trumpets. There's <laughs> no equipment builds. Uh, there was another one. I can't remember what it is. It's, like, no money, maybe. Okay. Let's just stack that. I'm going to buy this so I have, like, more room. That is better scaling. It's better scaling than the dragonfly, but I don't think it's worth taking here. Okay, we did find a pill. Great. Uh, I think it's actually better to try and level the swan right now. I can't do it yet, but I'll take it. I'll also freeze another bullfish because that will be useful down the road. Stego moose. Oh god, I can't remember moose's ability either. I know something about getting coconuts. But, yeah, I, I can't remember the specifics. You got your dromedary achievement with a th three squad. Congratulations. Zebra's pretty cool. I like a lot of this, actually. I'm going to be doing this now as well, because we're on lethal somehow. Scary stuff. Uh, I'm getting rid of the dragonfly. I think... Ah, no, because we will have a lot of useful things here. Okay, just don't hit the dragonfly too much. It hit it once. I guess that's not too much, but I don't like it. Don't need this many blobfish either. Uh, yeah, you could stay at the front. Okay, I, honestly, I think this is a good team. Like, obviously, Dromedary, we're just forcing for no reason, but... There are worse things. We're dead. <laughs> no. Alright, four trophies. It's out of game. Moose, if it's the lowest tier, gain plus five attack and coconuts. Ah, you're right, you're right. You're going for dromedary right now? I mean, kind of. I'm going for dromedary or toucan. It's whatever I find first, really. Let's take those, mama set, because big stats. Yeah, I still don't know. I don't know how I feel about fish. Every time I like look through the list of stuff, I'm like, oh yeah, I probably want to fish in here. But then I never end up taking them. It's weird. And honestly, I'm probably taking all oh, this. Let's combine the ducks. So we need to find one more of those. We we don't need this many mice. I don't even have a thing to stick them on. So I'll freeze one. And I'm pretty okay with that. You should do a useless ability challenge. Only pets whose abilities do not affect your battle. So literally like nothing in the fight. I think I have done that sort of thing before. Like, I've definitely had teams that are just, like, massive stats, but not, um, combat abilities. It's really easy with just, like, scalers, I think. Also, I don't like that I found a snail. <laughs> okay, uh, let's take both of these. Honestly, let's sell, like, all of this. All these junky things. Okay. Uh, order. How's this? Maybe that. That's slightly better, I think. Could you do 13 more runs today? What is that question? What do you expect me to say to that? 
Okay, uh, we found a toucan. We also have the dromedary already, but I kind of like the toucan here because we can already get like double meat bone value. The stalks are also pretty interesting. Hold on. I think I'm going to sell the mouse double by stalks. And then I'm probably going to keep this longer than the dromedary if I'm swapping off one of them. I'm not sure yet, but I may do. And that's looking okay to me. Once all the letters are gone, the pole should dissolve into S's. What does it say? Ets to six trophies, no. What? Oh no, it just says egg to six trophies. T to six trophies. I'm, I'm actually so lost. It looks so messed up. Okay. Buying this parrot. Eh, there's worse things. I don't love it, but like I also don't need the hedgehog and getting a... I don't know. Maybe a tier two isn't as good. I actually don't know. I'm going to sell the duck and the peacock, well, whatever that is, and I'm going to be buying... I'm going to be buying those three and freeze this. We don't have any more money, that's fine. Mm, let's do that. That's okay. I'll never find a sloth, I know. That's why I'm not going to force it. Like, I, I can force the other ones, but I haven't seen a sloth for like a hundred hours. So, <laughs> like, yeah, I'm... Wow, look, we actually got, like, synergy items pop out. Alright, dromedary. I may... I may? Hmm. No. <laughs> I'm abandoning the dromedary. I don't know how long I'm going to keep it anyway. Okay, uh, freeze this. I'll do it next turn. I'd rather see a tier 5. There's not a lot of tier 4s that, like, change my mind about this. And also, I'd rather find a high-level thing. It gets, like, crazy stats. Do I want a meat stick or do I want like more stats? I think I want more stats. I think I prefer that. It is only going to be like a tier two though, so it's it's not ideal. And what is that front line? What is wrong with this person? <laughs> the background you would most want to visit in real life. Most want to visit in real life. Hmm. I mean, honestly, it's probably the field. It's very boring, but just like the mountains and stuff. Like, this sky looks cool. Like, all of these look unpleasant. The cave could be kind of cool. Like, that looks like a fun place. That looks cold. That looks too hot. It's between cave and the field. I'm going to say cave. Cave is cooler. <laughs> the desert. Why would I want to visit a desert? It'd be terrible. Okay, the stalk stays. I'm going to do this. Obviously, we want to level that up too, but... That helps us out a lot. And I actually don't like Lionfish. I think it's okay in certain builds, but it... I just don't love it. It feels weird. Okay, you know what? Let's level this too, and then we can get another tier 5. Hopefully is isn't a Lionfish. A monkey scaling! Excellent, thank you. Alright, so we have two meat sticks going onto these two. I'm also buffing a snail. I could maybe freeze the deer, but... <laughs> I don't think I care enough for it. Beach when it gets released. It probably would be, yeah. The beach does look very nice. Been a long time. Oh god. I actually know that's good. I think. Yeah, it's some of the higher tier one. <laughs> See, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, do I roll for better things or do I just try to level up the toucan? We really don't need the dromedary, but I don't know what else I'm taking. I think like melon or something could be an idea. Let's level the monkey. Monkey is going to be helpful. Try to, at least. Uh, I'm going to keep rolling. I am going to take another stalk and freeze this. I want to level the monkey next turn. I think I want to get, like, lemon on this, and I want to make it super big. I think that's the way I'm going to go. You'd recommend Drum Polar Bear. I mean, I see the synergy, but is it actually good? Because I feel like a lot of these things just aren't... They just aren't good. Alright, well, that's easy pick, I think. Stegosaurus is also very easy. Uh, let's get... I mean, we might as well keep the parrot over the baby stalk. But yeah, I'm taking this. This has to stay. Obviously, I need to put it behind something else, but I don't know where. Definitely leveling this too. And this... Oh! I don't want what... I don't want what happened last time to happen again. Like, I'm afraid I will not be able to level this. But also, leveling the stego is what, like, guarantees us a win. But we have a lot of HP. I could try and... Or scale the other thing later. 
I may also like not run this to the front. Like I may try and get like melon on this because I can freeze these two. Like sell parrot, uh, put this here, and then we can have a big front line with melon armor, and then I can have you know this back here or something. We'll be buffing a stalk, but I think that's okay. I'm gonna freeze it. Uh, I like. I don't know what I like. <laughs> I think this is okay though. Hmm. Yeah, this is okay. They should add a pet with the ability to negate the ability of the pet opposite of its position. I would hate that. That is that is sombra and oh god, we gotta. I don't want that. <laughs> Why am I losing health to a team like this? Help. Okay, well, parrot, you're done. I'll be doing this and probably moving it to the front because the stalk has to stay. I like the idea of um mushrooming it, but can't do it yet. And yeah, I don't know. Uh, sure. I'll freeze the crow. <laughs> I won't buy it yet, but I will freeze it. Uh, you know what? I'll freeze the ball fish too. There's a chance I can use both of those. So right now, these two get meat sticks. This would be a pretty big frontline crow. It's only like a, I don't know, 2020 ish. If you ask really nicely, maybe get the desert on Friday. It's true. I will sometimes pick desert. Also, pirate hat. Thank you. There we go. The pirates have returned. It's been a little while, actually. Alright, let's just... I'm gonna put it on here. We need that to live. And I will buy this. No. None of it. I'm not I'm not freezing any. Okay, the pill is excellent. Uh, yeah, I'm doing it this turn. <laughs> we need to live. Oh, God. That just, like, cements it in that we're going to win. But, again, I'll only have, like, two turns to look for two more things on this. I think we can maybe manage that. Wait, so how much... How much are we getting for this? 11, 11? Yeah, we can leave that there. That's okay. What if we sweeten the deal by feeding the void with the redeem? You could maybe convince me. Also, that is exactly why we put Melon on our front line. <laughs> I think we definitely would have died if that Scorpion had taken out my carry unit. Anyway, I'm going to buy one of these, and I'm going to roll. I'd love to take these for the stats, but we really need to find the Toucan stuff. Again, that's kind of nice on there. I could maybe, like, rearrange, but... We need levels. We actually did find a pill immediately after I roll past Blobfish. I'm not taking steak, even though it would be good on those. Okay, well... We didn't get much further. I'm not going to screw up the order. <laughs> I'm going to leave it like this, I think. May have to start reordering at some point. Mmm, that's a bit spooky. Although we also got... Oh, we got something way better! <laughs> we actually did have a peanut toucan, but everything else also had... Oh, hey, look at this. Alright, we don't need the monkey anymore. Monkey can be gone. And... A tiger behind here would be good. But we have, like, eight gold to try and find one more toucan trigger. So let's let's roll it. We did it. Okay. <laughs> Another stego! Love it. We don't have synergies for these stegos, but we have the stegos. So this is a level 3 toucan that's only giving one meat stick. That is like a waste of an ability, but <laughs> I'm, I'm all for it. It stays in this order. I'm happy. What if you redeem beach? It doesn't exist. There is no beach in this uh, build at the moment. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't like this. Okay, at least we're going to have another thing in our team. Okay, so I could maybe rearrange, but this thing is going to be really big either way. I don't know. Like, I'm wondering if I do that and then throw it back, but we only have one resummon, and I don't know if it's worth it for one stalk over it having good protective equipment. I don't think it is. I also don't really think it's worth buying the cow. Like, we can maybe look for something else worth um, buffing. Like, a saber tooth isn't too bad. Sabertooth and stack Stego. Yeah, I mean, I could, like, just use this, uh, this Stego and that Sabertooth. I think I probably do, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna buy this, because if we can get that leveled up, then that's good as well, but... Sadly, no lemons or anything. Can't really mushroom for any good value either, but it is better than nothing. 
Actually, it may not be better than nothing if that hits it. What order am I having? I could do this, and then I could, like, mushroom it. So give everything mushrooms. The abilities won't do anything. They'll be, like, 3-3 three, three, opposed to, like, having plus 5 attack each. Probably not worth it. I think this needs some extra stats, so I'm fine leaving it like that. And then that needs, like, all the big stuff. And then this is buy an apple to send it off. All right. Let's see. Let's see if that can do it. We're definitely not that much stronger than our last, like, couple of tries, though. Although, we might be stronger against this. We are! <laughs> they stand no chance. We did it. Okay, one left. We got the toucan. <laughs> oh, that one was a roller coaster. Like, it was so strong, and then we, yeah, got destroyed a couple of times. I'm glad. Things are happening. Two down. Two left. Look at that. Wait, no, one left. <laughs> yeah, Dromedarian Sloth. We're almost there. We are so close. Only the dromedary remains. I'm going to take out Toucan from my hunting pack. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, I could maybe put in Frigate Bird, because we do have a couple of Wild Chief. There's only really that and the Tiger and this. Yeah, it's something. I may take that. I may genuinely take this. I've like rarely taken them, but it is better than a lot of this stuff. It's either that or the Raccoon, because that's pretty good to scale. I'm going to take it. <laughs> Alright. we have. I'm going to have one more try before the viewer lobbies. Dromedary only for the viewer lobbies. What, just to rub it in? Maybe. Maybe. Alright. And we'll be the squeaky pets. Raccoon for life. I actually need to take... I need more raccoon runs. They're genuinely a really good pet. If you scale them up anyway. Because just the fact that they can steal like... They can just invalidate stuff like scorpions and... <laughs> Coconut armor, which is less common, but very helpful. Hydrates? Oh, I keep missing it. You're right, there was a hydrate. Young, I'm sorry. Okay, I've hydrated. If Microbe were better, Raku would be really bad. The number of times I have had... Oh, I'm, I'm buffing that, by the way. The number of times I've had a, like, a mic- or usually not microbes, I'd have, like, a bat, and, like, then I'd buy a, a raccoon without thinking. And then it would steal the weakness. I- it's embarrassing. It should not happen that much. Anyway, we've got a, a blowfish. We need to find dromedaries and elephants at the moment. We have found a dromedary. Yes, it is indeed the dromedary we need to find. Okay, cool. Uh, you know what? Oh, or do I just leave it so it gets buffed by this one? The bat's kind of nice as well, but I'm actually going to buy both and then roll. I'm going to sell these two. And then... Oh, I can only afford one anyway. Whatever. I'm freezing that because I do want a big bat. And, uh... Yeah, the order's fine, too. <laughs> 3k desert redeem. The problem is I can't make them independent of each other. So if I have a desert redeem, then someone could redeem that immediately before or after someone else redeemed a background change. And then who's do I honor? Because, you know, normally I have a cooldown, but I can't have cooldowns that affect other things. Oh, but there was a background redeem. Where? Beach? Oh, beach. There is no beach! <laughs> Sinners! There's no beach. It redeems something else. Meat bone. Honestly, there's the forget bird I was thinking of. I could combine and then buy, sell, buy the meat bone. It's not terrible, but it is a bit janky. I'm going to do it anyway, though. <laughs> Alright, throw that to the front. The rest of the order's pretty good. Raccoon's back stalks are the best... Wait. They're bad early game, but gave a chance late game. I agree. Some of those are incredible in the late game. Uh, well, we definitely need this. I don't think I... I mean, I could buy and sell the mouse to make this bigger. Right now, my blowfish is probably my semi-carry. <laughs> and you know what? I'm taking this again. Maybe try to stack some if I can find more. Mm, I don't want to buy a mouse. It's like the same as buying and selling a frigate bird, but this thing has higher stats. And it's already like a buy ability, so it already gets the benefit and I don't need to sell it again. Let's just send it as it is. No freezing. You've been playing around with the commands channel and sap a lot. It's pretty interesting. I did it once when someone first told me about it, and I did see that there was a bunch of, like, random 
sort of place all the pets. Can't really remember what else we saw. What if you throw three extra balls in the void for deserts? You guys actually want the deserts? Fine, Froggy. You can have it for one one thing. I'm changing it once we're in the view lobbies, though. <laughs> Even if it doesn't get redeemed. All right. Uh, yes, we need... Again, I want elephants, but I don't know whether I hard roll for them. Hello. <laughs> Uh, it actually might be worth selling the Mosquito this turn, so I can double buy Blowfish and make this thing a level 2. Because it'll be very big. I'm gonna do it, and then we can freeze whatever the next tier thing is and make it bigger with the Dromedary, maybe. Probably want that too, and you know what? Let's go crazy, I'll take all of it. Okay, that can stay at the front. I'm really hoping it can trade. It is an 8-6, but... If it doesn't, then it is a waste. Okay, it traded well. <laughs> the actual bat ability sucked, though. No, hat is on cooldown. Yeah, hat's always on cooldown. Oh, you want the... I know what you want. <laughs> uh, anyway, I was thinking about taking this, but now it might be buffing like random junk that I don't want. Like the odds of it buffing the clownfish are too high, and although the blowfish is nice, I I don't know. I'd rather take both of these and just roll for another dromedary or bat, or some, something that works with these. I mean... I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I'm taking all of these. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Okay, we can make this work. <laughs> I don't know how, but we'll do something. Oh, there's the Haradim Cowboy. Yes, of course. Uh, four trades. I think I'm low on HP. Yeah, we're one away from lethal. At least we may be able to get to the view lobbies like roughly on time. Alright. There's your cowboy hats. Uh, I'm going to be greedy. I'm going... <sighs> yeah. I'm going to be greedy. <laughs> we don't have a chance of the run if we don't be a little bit greedy, I think. So I can buy this, then I can buy, sell the crow and level up something else if I really need, uh, really need to. So, yeah. And then I'll be leveling up the bat because it is strong. <laughs> and we have two of these. I'm keeping everything frozen. This It feels weird. It feels very weird, but let's go. What commands are there? I don't know. I, again, it was it was chat telling me the things I could input, so I was just like going off that. We actually won around. Interesting. And we're going to get a lot stronger this turn because we have zebras to buy sell. Go, go, go. Actually, start here. Start here. We need to see what this is. And sadly, I don't really care about that. I think we can't get rid of the blowfish. I'm just going to buy the blowfish. Freeze the tap it. I'm gonna pill it. <laughs> I'm still gonna pill it. I'm actually gonna leave the crocodile. It is good and it is better to buy than the blowfish this turn, but I'm I'm ready for death, honestly. I don't know how we're going to like win with this run unless we do just go super hard on getting like big stats, which means I don't know, monkey maybe. That's that's definitely an upgrade. I'll be taking this. Combined by this, I'm gonna hope for a we actually did find a monkey, but I can't really use it yet. I think I do this, and then I level it up next turn. I'll be freezing. No, I don't even use the monkey. We're going to need the stegos again. <laughs> I don't want to say it's too late for monkey, but a stego is just like an immediate monkey that you kind of have to keep on your team. A monkey you used to scale, and you can swap it away again at some point, but yeah, not this. Anyway, there's no reason for the tap here to really like copy anything, so I'm just leaving that to the back. The rest of this I'm pretty okay with. Don't mind me using a leech instead of pills to get bees. Interesting strat, I like it. Alright, that is a lot of chocolate. I can level up the bat, and I probably do want to do that. See that of the blowfish, but I, I think being able to replace equipment is probably a bit better. Yeah, let's just go. What do you have? Gorilla, do not care. Be gone. We can't survive, so there's no point taking a snail. Tiger doesn't work with this build either. Like, it could be nice for the blowfish, but there's no guarantee we're actually going to get a lot of triggers out of it. So, uh, yeah, send it again. Clutch bat. We need more bats. More weakness. Hey, that's pretty good. Actually, no, because that thing is still massive. Okay. Well, there we go. We got to believe a game at least. Six wins, and we're five minutes late to view lobbies.
Okay. Uh, guys, I'll be back in two minutes, and when I am back, we're gonna do the view lobbies. We'll need to discuss what we're doing, but... Yeah. I don't know, I'll leave some of the packs on screen. Alright, here is his orb. It's a little bit off, actually. How do I move this? I can't move it. Is it locked? It is locked. There you go. Alright. Alright, back in two minutes, and then we'll decide. See you in a bit.